I've got the filters for the JCB back, the big old back hole, and now it's time to put them back in the machine because today I have to get this massive thing running. They want to use it out in the field today. Um, but I've been told there's a hydraulic leak somewhere, and we have to find it. So. This is going to be interesting. Why? So first I'm going to get this thing running. And then I have to figure out, it hasn't been used in a while because of the hydraulic leak. So I'll finish uh, the servicing of this, get some gas in it, get it running. And then we'll figure out where the hydraulic leak is. It's going to be a good experience because I'll probably get a backhoe for myself when I get home. Well, I'm going to put the old machine back together today. I gotta go find a wrench for that, I'll be right back. There's the inner filter on there, and I'll put the uh, outer filter on.
There. Brand new air filters. So, as you guys saw last time, I uh, did an oil change, put a new oil filter on here, pulled out the air filters, and uh, put them on order. So I just put the new ones in, um, topped off the antifreeze, checked all the fluids. I still have to do the fuel filter. Um, I'm not sure if we have one, but uh, I'll be checking on that. And I'm going to put a little bit of uh, diesel in here. And we'll be firing this up in a little bit here. Well, I just put a uh, five-gallon can of diesel in here. And I'll put it all back together. Fire this thing up and see if I can find that leak. I have no idea where to look, what I'm looking for, but I'm going to try to find a hydraulic leak in this thing. Well, here's the uh, control. This is, I discovered, the main control box to uh, fire it up. I'm sure it's in neutral, of course. Starts up nice and easy. Starts up real easy. around and see if I can find this leak somewhere in the hydraulics. I'm going to have to get the thing out from under the, uh, it's in the shed right now. i got to get it out under, from underneath the shed. No, I just don't show the house. Well, I've managed to get this machine out of the garage, which was uh, a bit scary since I've never touched one of these before. And I figured it all out myself. Um, I can't find the kill switch though, so that's a little bit of a situation. But now I'm going to just pull this a little bit more forward out of the garage so we can uh, play with the hydraulics some. Just want to clear the garage so we have room to play around with the hydraulics. Very nice. To the middle of this. Yeah. Please. Yeah, we're good. No, I mean the, the, the gear. old JCB. What's that? Put into the middle because there's the tree. Put what in the middle? JCB. The vehicle? Yeah. Oh, I see what you're saying. Just pull it right out? All right. didn't want to get myself in a sun, but it's cloudy today, so we're good. Yeah, that'll be fine. That tree's not in our way now. Well, there is a leak. That's a bad one. Just found a trail. I threw some cardboard under there until I could find a drip pan. It's gushing. I don't know if you can see that stream. Really bad. So I gotta trace that down real quick. There's the oil pouring. Well, I get my light on. Oh, you can see the hose up in there. Let me see, there's that. Right there. You can see the oil coming out of that hose. I don't know if I can get a camera in there. There it is, you can see it clearly on camera burst hose very clearly pouring out of it really badly leaking I trace the hose and it's this one right here right to the main cylinder of the bucket that's the bad boy right here it's a long one I'm gonna see if I can find one that'll fit that might have this machine running
I got that one loosened. Now I gotta get down underneath. I won't be able to show you me working underneath there because that is deep under. But I have to get that hose disconnected from inside this tractor. See if we can get it fixed and running today. Well, I'm underneath the tractor. I don't know what if you can see me. I had to check if I'm recording or not. I'm sitting inside for the JCB. Uh, I'm trying to get myself situated here. It's uh, not one of the not one of the worst jobs. I've had worse. This isn't so bad actually. As long as I can reach that um, line right there. This one, uh, right here. Now, I won't be able to show you me. Uh, that didn't come out right. I won't be able to show myself working here, but I'm going to get that off. Shouldn't be too hard. And we'll have that out in a few minutes. There's a the bad hose. Bring this out. Can you shut that off, please? The big button right there on top. Sorry. That one right there. Well, there's the bad hose. Oh, good. It's been repaired There's where it's, See? Yeah, it's, it's been, been repaired already, and that's, that's where it broke. Right. That's all right. We can uh, we can fix that. Yeah. Right. Either we just uh, use the very same thing to shorten the job. Mm hmm So you you. Because um, the hose itself, it doesn't seem damaged. It leaked right at the at the uh, joint here. Yeah. Um. Should have had my camera for this. This is a really cool setup. This hose can be repaired very easily. What happened is the original um, where they patched it on had just stripped out. This goes on here and I slipped the end of the hose into here. I have to cut it off into a new piece and then as I turn this it'll thread the hose on and compress it onto that shaft in there. It's a really, really cool setup. So I've got to clean the old chunk of hose of the inside of this. And part of the reason I didn't record it is I wasn't sure what I was doing taking this off. So I'm going to clean out the air. Some rubber stuck in there. And then um, trim this off. 
and re-thread it and it should be good. Might be able to rinse that with the parts cleaner here in a minute. Yeah, I'll give it a rinse now. All right, that'll be ready to put together. Well, there's that. I'm just going to cut that little fiber off. turning at all. This is not easy. No, it just ripped up the end of that. It's just cloth. That's a problem. All it did is chewed the end of this. It's probably why the original one failed. It's just a cloth coating on the outside of this. problem is the original there was nothing in there there was no rubber left in there there's cloth coating this is awkward it's just chewing that up ripping the cloth to pieces. I think that's why the original one failed. I was told if I can't get this to work, 
I can replace both ends. See if I can find a piece of scrap hose that length. Replace both ends. Might be the best thing to go. If I can find a rubber hose. That just rips that fiber. Yeah. Well, with help, we got the um, the hose in here and tightened down. I had to have somebody pressing with both hands and all of his strength pressing inwards well I used the wrench and tried to tighten this down and it's in there hopefully it's going to hold which I'll find out in a couple minutes here I'll go take this over and put it on the JCB is it on? yeah alright well I'm going to feed this hose back through so I'm going to go from the bottom up oh. Gotta go through there, up through there. Okay. okay. And up through here. awkward because they crossed over each other in here. Time goes through here. And that'll go on there in the top, like that. Okay, I'll have to get the wrenches. You can stop that now, please. Well, let me get back underneath this machine again. I hope I can reach that hose from down here. Uh, yeah, okay, this is going to work. If I can get enough slack on that hose, yes, it's going to fit. It's going to fit right. Um, it's dirty down here. enough slack on it. Yeah, okay, you can kill the camera. Well, I've got a assistant camera person here underneath the JCB with me. How's the view looking from there? Can you see what we're doing? Yeah. Okay, whoops, I hit the camera, didn't I? Oh, I'm gonna be really dirty. But it's good that I can sit up down here at least. This hydraulic hose made a mess down here when it was leaking. It doesn't leak. It'll be great if this works out. We'll know in a few minutes as soon as I go back up top. I 
Okay. We'll get that done here. Alright, you can shut off. Thank you. Ratcheting wrench would be nice here. This one threads on a long, long way. There we go. Okay. We can test it out now. Well, we'll fire this thing up and see how it goes. Give that a second to warm up. And then neutral. repaired the lines and it looks like we'll be able to put this back into service.